Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good evening, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. Today was a day to honor those who serve our country in the past and currently. Newslink Indiana's Jennifer Kinley has more from Area Veterans Day programs. A memorial for those who lost their lives fighting for our country. To simply just give a, a silent prayer in their own special way in honoring those individuals who, who made the ultimate sacrifice. Marine Corps veteran Joe Oryk spoke to fellow vets and their families at Beech Grove Cemetery. Ask people to remember on Veterans Day those men and women who have went forward in the battle uh, because their country asked them to go. People remembered, listened, and prayed. This wasn't the only memorial service. Students at Muncie Central High School also came together to honor vets. Congressman Mike Pence was guest of honor. Truthfully, in just a matter of years, and in some cases a matter of months, these men and women will be precisely uh, the young men and women that our nation has to rely on. Pence stressed the important difference between Memorial Day and Veterans Day. Veterans Day is specifically for those who served in uniform, men and women, and by the grace of God and the prayers of their family um, and the good fortune of their life, were able to come home. In Muncie, Jennifer Kinley, Newslink, Indiana. According to Governor Joe Kernan, Indiana has the fifth largest National Guard unit in America and has now deployed 9,000 of the 14,000 Hoosier National Guardsmen in the war on terror. A juvenile is being held in connection with a fire that destroyed about $20,000 of playground equipment at a Muncie Elementary School. The fire happened October 14th at Southview Elementary School. It ruined a wood and plastic playground set and the rubber ground base. Any new equipment purchased must comply with the American Disabilities Act and that could raise the cost of a new playground. Associate Superintendent Mark Bernhardt says a fire in 1999 also damaged the playground. Burkhardt also says the rubber ground base could be replaced with something less flammable. Now here's Carrie Hazley with a look at tonight's forecast. Carrie? Well, thanks, Chris. We start things off with a look at the forecast for the overnight hours tonight. Sprinkles early, but we will see gradual clearing as we head through the overnight hours. 34 degrees will be the overnight low temperature. The system that has been impacting our weather for the day today has actually started to push off towards the southeast. As we set this map into motion, we really start to clear out as we head through the overnight hours tonight. This will impact our forecast tomorrow with sunny skies, gradual clearing and warmer temperatures at 46 degrees. Chris? Thanks, Gary. That is Newslink Indiana. Join us tonight at 1057 for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.